And y'all don't know, Bill is strong. I had to tackle Bill one day in Dayton, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> when I drank that whole bottle. I was on the Kettle Boys and... doing a show. <laughs> With after seven and Rex in effect, you just don't pull the plug on the ghetto boys, and we won't have any. And I wish I had that footage still, Bill, because like the whole police force was up in there. Yeah. And Johnny Euchre won't and, press and charges. I was, I was kicking holes in the speakers, of um, kicking uh. holes in their drum set, knocking over turntables. <laughs> I mean, you know, the keyboard. I was knocking over their keyboards. I was I was throwing their horns and saxophones in the audience, and I, and I got on the mic and said. They won't let Ghetto Boys perform. They start a riot in this mother. And everybody was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, then, then we went back to the stage, and, I, and I, I started breaking the mirrors in the dressing room, throwing everything around. Then, then, the, then the promoter and the police came in there and said, Bill, um, you really got these people destroying the building. Um, if you could just go out there and tell them we're going to let you perform, maybe they'll stop. Because other than that, we have the task force out there, and the riots are great, and it's really going to get ugly. I'm like, I ain't doing shit unless we're really performing. I'm not going out there and telling the people stop and we ain't performing. They came to see us. You couldn't sell no tickets with After 7 and the Mother Cats until you added Ghetto Boys and the show sold out. Right or wrong? They was like, yep, that's what happened. We added Ghetto Boys, we had a sold out show. I was like, well, we need to do our full set then. Yep. And, and then that's what happened. You know, I went out there and I told the people, yo, we won. They said we could do the damn thing. So I need y'all to settle back down so we could rock the house. Let me hear you say, get it, old boys, get it. And then everybody turned around and started saying, get it, old boys, ran back to the stage. We did the show. And, of course, after get it, old boys got off stage, the majority of the people who bought tickets left, the ones who came to see R&B stayed. Yeah, That's crazy. That is yeah. crazy. Yeah. But, and that's the history of Ghetto boys and after seven, baby face little brother. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Well, uh, Red yeah, pretty crazy. Oh, yeah, and Rex in effect, um, Teddy Riley's little brother, too, he was like, Bill, y'all out of control. I'm like, yeah, man, I mean, come on, they got to let us do our thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, they knew we was real, we won't have any. You know what I mean? We ain't got no, all I want to do is zoom, zoom, in the boom, boom. We, we got gangsta love, size of shit. Set a whole <laughs> yo, Scarface. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, <laughs> I'm glad like, people came out just, to hear us. Just, just spinning it in to all I have in this world with the Scarface joint, and that's when they pulled the plug. Yep, and the people went berserk, and I went mm-hmm. berserk because I saw the stuff they were setting up. I, I started knocking everything over. I was like a Tasmanian in a whirlwind of destruction. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> was. You need some help bringing some stuff out. I played. Yeah, and I played and football. Everybody, but everybody it was hard to get me from doing things, and I'm getting away from everybody and knocking things over and telling the audience grab the mic before they cut the mic off. They're just trying to tell <laughs> Did that happen a lot to you guys, did, did, you know, especially when you guys went back to the East Coast, ironically being, you know, that's your original home? Oh, no, no, no. Let me tell you what happened. At, at, at the Lyric Theater, the only people that had our back was Public Enemy, EPMD. I know KRS-One was on our side. I think I saw it just like there, whatever. But everybody else, when we went out and did the song Scarface, and we did Let a Ho Be a Ho and, and Gangsta Love, these, these these people in New York, I mean, where I'm from, I couldn't believe it. They was like, man, you just respecting our black queen and blah, blah, blah. And they booed us. They booed us on the song Scarface, Gangster Love, Let a Ho Be a Ho, and Size Ain't Shit. And we came back a year later and rocked Madison Square Garden. I was like, ain't that precious? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah incredible. Crazy. Right. I, just, I, I, I mean, Red, you seem, you seem like a pretty calm fella. How did you, how did you, uh, <laughs> you know, they keep feeling like? Right. Don't let them fool you. Oh, well, that was my mission, man. Uh, like I say, man, when Mama Shaw said, hey, you responsible for Bill, I'm responsible for Bill, <laughs> you know? And, uh. <laughs> it's a huge task at that time. Hey, you know like what? Bill was like, ready to tear up everything. I'm nice. Yeah, I, was, I'm I nice, did but, care for everything. They they have to they have to share keyboards and really when I need to. in order to get their shows done. You know, yeah. I, I literally destroyed everything. I wasn't playing with them people. Pull the plug on me so you could hear some woo woo my my stuff. No, it's not happening. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. Like, comment, share. Also go over to UGSForLife.com, download the entire archive, and check out new episodes on Apple Podcasts and Blog Talk Radio.